There are lots of social media scheduling tools out there. But what if you could schedule your posts in the same tool that you were already editing your images or making graphics? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to schedule your social media posts using Canva. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners streamline their social media to get more results in less time. If that sounds like something you could use in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter, and in this video I'm going to show you how to schedule social media posts using Canva so you can not only save time, but when you pre-schedule your posts for a week or even a month out, the mental capacity that is freed up by not worrying about posting is massive. And if you want to jump ahead to a certain section, I've included chapters in this video, which you can see at the bottom of the screen if you hover over it with your mouse on a computer, or you can click to certain parts in the description of this video. Now, I'm assuming you already know the basics of Canva, and if not, I've included a tutorial for Canva in the description of this video. There's two places you can start scheduling. One is just to come over here on the left from the home screen and click on Content Planner, and it will actually take you to a calendar where you can plan out your posts. And so if you were to create a post this way, let's just choose uh, November 10th. I click on that plus sign, brings up this screen. These are my most recent designs that I can scroll through and choose one, or templates, or of course you can go into your projects and find them organized or search for them, or if you're creating something from scratch, you can click create a design and then choose by the type or style of design that you are looking for, or if you have a specific size, you can click custom size and type it in. So this is similar to the rest of Canva, but you start here instead, and then it automatically has that date associated with it because you went this way on November 10th. Alternatively, you can be in any of your designs, and once it's ready, you can come up here and click on these three dots, and then this brings up a ton of different options. The one you are looking for is called Schedule, and so you can type in Schedule, and it will come up here, or if you use it a lot, it may just show up here at the top. You can also click See All down here, and they all come up and find schedule that way. Also, if you've already got the social network in mind that you wanna to post to, you can also just click the direct links that you see here if that's the case. But just so we can see every step, I'm gonna go ahead and hit schedule. First thing it's gonna ask you to do is choose your date and then the time that you want the post to go up. So you choose whatever that's gonna be, then you hit next. Next, you're gonna select a channel. So I click the drop down here, and this is helpful because it'll show us everything that you can post to from Canva, at least as of this recording. So I've already got my Facebook business page, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn all connected here, but I'm gonna click select a channel so we can see all of these. So you can post to an Instagram business profile. Unfortunately, you can't post to a creator profile or a personal profile from here. A Facebook business page, Twitter, Facebook groups, Pinterest, LinkedIn profile, so that's your personal profile on LinkedIn, or a LinkedIn company page. And then they also have Slack and Tumblr down here. So lots of options. And if you have not connected an account yet, the first thing you'll have to do is click on it and it'll basically ask you to connect at that point. Now, I wanna point something out about the Facebook groups. I noticed that it brings up all the Facebook groups that I'm in, but it's going to have to be one of your Facebook groups or it's not gonna work because here's what has to happen. So I'm gonna click Five Minute Social Academy, which is one of my groups, and it's gonna tell me, oh, I have to add the app to Facebook, which is not that hard to do. The instructions are right here, and I'll show you that here in just a second, but you won't be able to add the app to groups that aren't yours. So if you wanna add the Canva app to your groups, you can schedule from Canva. You have to come over here and click Group Settings, and then we're gonna scroll down to Advanced Settings and Apps. I'm gonna click that little pencil to edit it. I have to click Add Apps, and then up here, I'm just gonna search for Canva. There it is. So it'll say, hey, here's what Canva is gonna be able to do to your group, as long as you're okay with that, you click Add. And now the group's all set. So now back in Canva, you can see my group is there. So you can go through and choose whatever you want. So let's go with the group. And then I'm gonna share this graphic about my Social Media for Streamline Entrepreneurs podcast. Thank you for your amazing support. And then add an emoji. But you obviously can do whatever caption you want. Um, you can do line breaks just like you would do in any other, just like you would do if you were actually posting in the Facebook group. If you're not ready to put this up quite yet, you can hit Save Draft. 
Otherwise, you can click Schedule Post, and just like when you download an image from Canva, it'll take a second to process it, depending on how complex your image is. If you're doing videos, obviously they're gonna be a little bit more complex. And then it'll say your post has been scheduled, date, time. I like to just double check in my brain and go, okay, was that the time I wanted? Yes, great. Then you can click Content Planner, and it'll take you to that Content Planner calendar, and there is the post that we just created. So it's a really nice layout where they even show you the thumbnail of the post. Alternatively, let's say you wanted to put the same post or a similar post up on a different platform. You can click make a copy and it's gonna go ahead and create a new copy of that file. It's exactly like the other one for now, but one of Canva's great tools when it comes to social media is you can come up here and quickly resize it. So for example, let's say I wanted it to be square this time, like for an Instagram post. I can click resize. I select Instagram there and I click resize. Automatically makes it a square. And just like that, there it is. Now I might wanna move the image around or something like that, but that's not what this tutorial is about. But you can quickly do that. I would come up here, click the three dots, select schedule, pick a time, choose Instagram, add the caption. Unfortunately, it doesn't keep the caption from the other post, but you can add the caption again. You can obviously copy it and have it on your computer's clipboard, and then you can schedule it again from there. One other limitation to mention, you can't schedule Instagram Reels or Stories. It's just videos and photos for the feed. And by the way, if this was a video, so I just added some animation to it, then when I go to Schedule, you'll have a little drop down, and you can say, yes, I want this to be a PNG file, which is an image, a GIF, an animated GIF or GIF, or MP4 video. And so you choose what you want there. Last couple things on the content planner. For one, if you save it as a draft, you wanna come back to it later, you can see it's kind of grayed out right here. So that's a draft post and that's why it looks that way. And if you wanted to edit it, you can click on that. It'll again, you could change the channel that it's on. You can change the time. You can change the format, everything that you could do before and then add your caption and then go ahead and do that. And then even this one that's already scheduled, I can also click on that one. And again, click here to change the time, edit the design make a copy, all the things that you might wanna do after something has already been scheduled. Now, I didn't have time to cover it in this video, but you can schedule from the Canva mobile app as well. Now, scheduling in Canva does require a paid account, but Canva is super affordable. Plus, if you use my special link just for five minute social media viewers, you can get a 45 day trial. That's a month and a half free instead of their standard free trial. And they just added this. You can get five team members on your plan for the same price as one. All right, so check out Canva now, 5minutesocialmedia.com slash Canva to get that extended free trial. Was this video helpful? If so, let me know by clicking like, leave a comment. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. And if you're looking for more help growing your business with social media, check out the video on the screen right now.